The Retail Association has for the past several months been calling for, yes, here I go again, a level playing field, an LPF, in regards to internet sales not having to charge a GST. Well, the founder of Kogan, K-O-G-A-N, which is a pretty large internet consumer website, Ruslan Kogan, has announced that his website would like to divorce itself from traditional retail citing ir 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 I can't even do it, Ruslan. I'm sorry about that. Good morning and welcome to you. There's been a breakdown in your relationship. Uh, there has, certainly. One thing to uh, actually fix up is to say that it's not internet sales that don't have to charge a GST. It's when you purchase from an overseas retailer. So someone like Kogan charges GST on every single sale because we're an Australian company. We're not an overseas online retailer. So although we are completely online, there is still GST in every one of our sales. Okay. And, you know, it's the innovative part of the... Uh, industry, the whole online world, and it's growing very fast in Australia. We've got consumers all over the world begging to buy Kogan products, while our other bricks and mortar retailers are whinging that some people are turning online to snap up bargains. Irreconcilable differences, that's the term that's I was the trying one. to get out before. So there's no point, no point in me having uh, being the role of a counsellor between the two of you and try and get you to, to agree and get back into bed together? of thinking and the reason we had to make that announcement is because we've been hearing industry commentators and economists uh, all over Australia saying things like retail is slowing down what do we do we're in a slow economy retail is going slow our retailers are struggling and we're sitting here thinking well hang on a second Kogan's a retailer but Kogan's growing very fast and we're winning new customers every day and you know the feedback's been tremendous and our uh, Facebook page has got so many comments on it and so many people liking everything. And, you know, we're growing exponentially month on month. We're doubling our turnover year on year. So please don't say that retail is slowing down. Mm. Just retail as it was done 20 years ago and with very high prices is slowing down. But consumers are smarter than they've ever been and they Google every time they need to make a purchase and they compare prices. So whereas these retailers used to get away uh, with charging a higher price just because they've got you in the store and they could get a pushy salesperson chatting to you, um, that doesn't mean that that business model will work in 2011. And that's what consumers are showing. They're voting with their money and their hard-earned cash and they're turning online to make purchases. Ruslan, you don't think there's a possibility that the, the shine could go off what you're doing in time, that we, we're all enthralled by the internet. This is fantastic. I can buy a fridge at 3 o'clock in the morning and have it delivered within 48 hours from goodness knows where. But do you think that eventually that could well, the novelty could wear off and we can go back to traditional practices? Look, it's not a novelty. It's uh, the fact that online businesses are way more efficient than any bricks and mortar retailer. What makes them more efficient? Uh, everything from the way in which we deliver products, so there's no middlemen. Kogan is, uh, we manufacture TVs and LCD TVs and stuff like that. We're the, we're the manufacturer direct to the consumer. There's no middlemen. It doesn't go from you know, factory to the exporter, to the importer, to the distributor, to the wholesaler, then to the retailer, and everyone wanting their 20% cut along the way. We're direct to the consumer, so we can sell things at often half the price that others can. So that's one element of it. But then every other element of it as well, in terms of we can be open 24-7, we don't have the rent bills that they do, and all of this sort of stuff enables us to give consumers exactly what they want for the best price. So uh, bricks and mortar retail will never be able to compete with online retailers on price. So it's not really just fashionable thing to do at the moment. I reckon any day of the week, if you ask someone, would you rather spend $2,000 on a TV or $1,000 on a TV uh, that does exactly the same stuff? I'm pretty sure I know what the answer is going to be. Yeah, uh, but, but what about the TV or the fridge that I purchase online? Um, I could get it. It's wonderful. It's pretty nice. Uh, and then a week later, it, it collapses on me. It, it needs repairing. What, what sort of comeback have I got if I bought it online? Well, with someone like Kogan, it's even more of a comeback than through a store because 
We've got 24-7 support for all our products. You just contact us. We'd have a courier driver at your door picking that TV up and replacing it with a new one very quickly. With a bricks and mortar store, you'd have to try and fit it back into your car, put it back in the box, and then try and deliver it to the store and then uh, wait for a new one. So it's a lot of these online retailers, they realize that they're in a very transparent marketplace as well. The last thing we would want at Kogan is for someone to go onto a blog or forum and say something bad about us or say that they've had a bad experience. So we can't afford an upset customer because with the way the internet is today and social media, an upset customer would be the equivalent of giving, a, giving an upset customer a megaphone in a shopping center and letting them scream out their bad experiences with a certain store. Yeah. So the service provided by online retailers is now at a level where it surpasses that of bricks and mortar. But what would you say was inter the internet trading's contribution economically? What, what sort of contribution do you make to the economic world? I think uh, it makes a very significant contribution. Uh, because of Kogan, there's thousands of people Australia-wide being employed every day. Everyone from our web designers to our marketing consultants to our customer service team all the way through to the logistics part of the business. So, uh, you know, all the people picking and packing our orders and all the courier drivers around Australia. So, uh, so know, if you had to quantify it, Ruslan, what, what sort of figure would you put on it, contributing to, say, our GDP? I, I'm not in a position to, to make that estimate. I mean, I have heard estimates of $50 billion. Yeah, it would be... It would be that and growing at an exponential rate as well. well I, I don't know the exact figures. I do know that it, it's, growing, it's growing very, very fast. And there's new jobs being created in this area every single day as well. So, um, you know, I think that we shouldn't be talking the industry down. We should be talking it up. Australia has some of the best IT degrees in the world. We've got some of the best minds in the world when it comes to the internet age and technology. And whereas other traditional retailers are screaming for protectionism and they're screaming to have people turn away from online retail, we've got companies like Kogan who are employing these people and letting them create things that the rest of the world is begging us for. We recently expanded to the UK because they were begging us to launch Kogan there because we're the cheapest TVs in the world. We've got customers in the US begging us to expand there. So rather than trying to live in denial about this industry and this uh, boom that's about to happen, we should be embracing it and promoting it and telling people, look, online is exciting. We've got the best university degrees when it comes to IT in the world. We've got people from all over the world flocking to Australia to study because that's how good our degrees are. Let's show the world what we've got and let's show them how good we are in this industry rather than you know, trying to turn and back away from this industry and have uh, retail liars and dinosaurs screaming for protectionism. That's Ruslan Kogan, the founder of Kogan, a large internet consumer website, and they're uh, filing for divorce from traditional retail, citing irreconcilable differences.